What you're looking at here today is a clock that I've put together. The face on this clock. The mechanical operations are one we're very familiar with. I've named this clock the Great Pi Pyramid Two Second Clock. It's based on the mathematics of the Great Pyramid of Giza. It's my belief that that particular pyramid was built to work as a clock, a timekeeper. 24 hour days, the years, the minutes, the seconds, and also the circumference of the earth down to its almost exact measurements. The ratio of the earth from the north and south pole And there has been talk about how interesting it is that the speed of light, the number, almost matches identical to the latitude of the Great Pyramid of Giza. I'm not going to go any further than that, than that it's interesting, the numbers are very interesting. But what is more interesting to me is how the size of the Earth can be determined by this clock. A later time I'll update this with a new video explaining many of the details of how this works. But for now I'm going to post at the bottom of this clock video some information, basic information about what you're looking at here today. It's my plan not to do a lot of speculating, but basically to show information that's been circulating for quite a while now. A lot of new information in various books and videos that explain the mathematics of what you're looking at here today. All I've done is taken that information 
and it developed this clock. One of the main features about this clock is the second hand that's going around. And we know how the pendulum on the grandfather's clock works. It keeps time with the earth as the earth uh, turns. Now watch when the second hand comes down to these, this spot here. There's two seconds of time involved that the earth has just moved two seconds just now. And that's based on the Great Pyramid of Giza, which has been proven to represent a half a second of time, one side of it. So if we were to put four pyramids in a row, in a sense, two seconds of time would go by. But what we're looking at is the measurements of the socle and what's called the base of the Great Pyramid. Both of these numbers work and this is where we are able to figure out this time element if the Great Pyramid of Giza were located on the equator. The time of the socle, the measurements going around the pyramid would be two seconds which we've just gone by now. Two seconds of time. Once again, I'm not going to get into all the small, tiny details here today, but there will be a follow-up video, and as I mentioned earlier, I'll be posting some basic information at the bottom of this video so that you can read afterwards or during your time of watching it.